everyone! Konnichiwa minasan! So this week, I'm going to show you how to make these super cool edible brains. They look so realistic and wiggle just like real brains, but they taste surprisingly fruity. So let's get started. So first we're going to make the dough for the brain. So you want to gradually add the water to the shiratamako, which looks like this. And you want to dissolve it and create a watery white liquid. Then add this liquid to the shiro an paste, which is a sweet white kidney bean paste. And add these to a small pot and mix very well with a rubber spatula until the liquid is completely incorporated. Place the pot on the stove and set it on medium low heat. Keep kneading the dough with a spatula until most of the water has been absorbed and it no longer has a shine to it. Once it's reached this stage, remove it from the heat and spread the paste evenly along the insides of the pot for it to cool. Now once the nerikiri, which is what this is called, has cooled enough to touch but not burn your hands, scrape it off from the pot with a spatula and roll it into a ball. Now if you'd like more detailed instructions, I'll have the link to the recipe in the description box below. Then knead the nerikiri together with the pink food coloring. So to actually make the brains, lay out some plastic wrap and spread over a thin layer of koshiang, which is a red bean paste. Place the strawberry in the center and then wrap the plastic wrap around the strawberry. And you want to repeat this for the other strawberry as well. Then divide the nerikiri into two balls and flatten them into two flat pancakes. Lay out a new sheet of plastic wrap and spread the nerikiri out thinly. Unwrap the strawberries and place one in the center of each nerikiri pancake. Then like before, wrap the nerikiri around the strawberries with the plastic wrap. Place them seam side down and then using a small spoon, make the wiggly lines on the brain. And yes, I know I'm being so scientific. <laughs> If these look a little bit too realistic to you, you can make a little happy face with some nerikiri mixed with cocoa powder, and now they look like happy brains. <laughs> now you want to heat the apple juice in a pot and add and dissolve the gelatin. Then pour about 1 to 2 centimeters of apple juice into each jar, and then place the brains into the jars. Then fill the jars the rest of the way with the apple juice. Place them in the freezer without their lid for 20 minutes and then transfer them to the fridge to finish setting. And you're done! So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like more videos. And this video was part of an awesome science fair collaboration. So I've linked the other videos at the end of this video as well as in the description box below. So I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye! Doesn't fit! <laughs>